Those of you guys that have been watching me for some time, you guys already know I'm going all in into Tesla stock. And I get a lot of pushback saying like, Pitch Ben, you should diversify. You should, you know, invest in the S&P 500 and, you know, be exposed to a whole bunch of stocks. So if one or two goes bankrupt, if Tesla goes bankrupt, you won't be bad. First of all, I have my own reasons why I'm going all in into Tesla stock. And if you guys are watching my channel, you guys already know. But personally, in my opinion, I do think Tesla in its own little world is diversified it's many businesses into one but we're, if we want to truly diversify we'll keep it to that in this video if i truly want to diversify here are the stocks that i would get obviously not financial advice just my point of view and these are these are the companies that i've done deep analysis on to the best ability that i can and i'm very comfortable on buying their stocks so if you guys are ready man smash that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already Let's go. For those of you guys that aren't following me on X, I don't know what you guys are doing, but I did post exactly what stocks that I want, that I will buy if I choose to diversify. But we're gonna go over one by one here. The first stock here is SMG or Chipotle. Guys, I'm a big fan of Chipotle. I love Chipotle. When I'm back home in Toronto, I have Chipotle at least once a week or maybe twice a week. I love Chipotle. It's one of my favorite restaurants. And here in Kuwait, we don't have it until recently, and I'll get to that in a bit. But the reason why I would go and buy Chipotle stock is because they're growing very massive. Massive expansion ahead. They just are starting in Europe, and now recently in the Middle East. Guys, I'm so excited because now here in Kuwait, I can get Chipotle. Absolutely amazing. But they are expanding in Europe, and now they're expanding in the Middle East. And with this article, Chipotle accelerates international expansion through first ever development agreement with Al Shaya Group in the Middle East. Al Shaya Group here in the Middle East, guys, especially in Kuwait, they're massive. They have they pretty much own quite, they own a lot of the big brands here in Kuwait. That's absolutely insane. So I'm really happy they're coming to the Middle East, specifically in Dubai and Kuwait early next year before expanding further across the region. And this is one of the reasons why I would get Chipotle stock because they're now expanding internationally. Soon they'll go to Asia, Europe, they're starting. Middle East are gonna be starting very soon and then Asia, and that's gonna be massive explosive growth for them. At the recording of this video right now, Chipotle is worth upwards of $50 billion. I can easily see Chipotle being worth as the same as McDonald's one day. 200 billion, 250 billion, an easy 5x for that. I, I can see that for Chipotle. And take a look at the annual financials for Chipotle. 2019, a little over $5.5 billion in revenue and in profits over 350 million. And just last year in 2022, almost 9 billion in revenue and just about a billion in earnings. So that is an absolutely ashish moment. They apparently do give dividends too, about 2%. So that's, that's pretty interesting. But nonetheless, I'm not in it for the dividends. I'm in it for the growth. And Chipotle is a no-brainer when it comes to my list. And I've been talking about Chipotle for the past three years. If I wasn't going all in to Tesla stock, I would have a pretty heavy position on Chipotle. Stock number two that I would invest heavily in, and it's the one that I already have because I think it's a no-brainer not getting this stock is none other than Amazon. Hold on, Apache. I thought you were going all in into Tesla stock. What do you have Amazon for? 99% of my entire stock portfolio is Tesla. 1% of it has some Amazon in it and some other stuff in it. But anyways, if I had to diversify from Tesla, I would probably increase, not probably, I would increase my Amazon position by maybe five to tenfold. It's a phenomenal company. The only company right now that has more than half a trillion in revenue. Uh, that's just absolutely insane. But anyways, on X, I wrote here, the reason why I would invest heavily into Amazon is because they have a lot of heavy reinvestors back in the company. This will give Amazon higher revenues and profits in the future. Now, let me guys ask you a question. What would happen once Amazon knows they're in a really good spot, they don't need to do much reinvestment again, all that money will just be showed as part of profits. You know how big the profits would be for Amazon? For crying out loud, half a trillion a year when it comes to revenue. They're projected to do a trillion in revenue in 2027. You know how crazy that is? That is absolutely insane. The profits for Amazon is gonna be crazy, and honestly, I would expect them to do some sort of buyback and dividends in the future, but the amount of money they are you know, pulling in. Amazon is in a really good position in terms of delivery, AOS, and all the other stuff. They are a diversified company within the company. I would say Amazon is kind of like Tesla, but in their own kind of ecosystem. Now, obviously, Amazon doesn't have a addictive ecosystem like how Tesla does, and they're gonna benefit very nicely with that. But Amazon is set is in a perfect place to bring down costs and to increase revenue and profits. They're in a very good position, and they will 
In my opinion, by 2030, Tesla will be the world's most valued company. Second is Amazon. That's how good I think Amazon's gonna be. So no doubt about that. That's number two. Number three is no other than Palantir. The thing with Palantir is, guys, is that as the CEO Alex Karp said, as the world is getting more chaotic, the company will perform well. Now, obviously, not common. We don't want the world to be more chaotic, but the way how things are, you know, we got Ukraine, Russia, we've got the Israel and Hamas thing going on, and then we got this Taiwan and China thing, and then we got North and South Korea, and who knows? And we got problem with Iran and all that kind of things so really things are not looking good and a company like Palantir who has AI in government and corporations they're going to do really well in if something hits the fan I will classify Palantir as like the Lockheed Martin and all those defense companies when it comes to the stocks but at a higher growth rate I do see them becoming a trillion dollar valuation but let's just hope the day won't come for that, all right? But I would generally increase my Palantir position, and yes, I do own a bit of that as well. Shout out to Ahmed for that. So that's number three. Number four, none other than NVIDIA. Guys, AI is the next big thing, and so is NVIDIA. NVIDIA is part of it. The best AI company in the world right now is Tesla, in my opinion. Second is NVIDIA. Their chips are highly needed all around the world, and they just keep getting banned upon banned with the U.S. signing to China, but they still find ways to increase revenue and profits, and they're sought after. I mean, Tesla is ordering a lot of NVIDIA chips from them, and even Elon Musk said that NVIDIA chips and all that stuff, they help their FSD progress as well. So it's really good. NVIDIA is one of those companies that I don't want to bet against because they have such a bright future in front of them. By the way, guys, if you guys want to know how many shares of NVIDIA you need to retire, it's an older video, but I think you'll find it interesting. Check the video here. So far, guys, that's four stocks that I would diversify myself from Tesla if I decided to diversify myself from Tesla. But obviously, that's not going to happen anytime soon. But the fifth one that I would get and the last one is a simple S&P 500 index fund. That's it. And that will be 50% of my entire all allocation to it. Because honestly, guys, following a company over time and quarter over quarter, it, get, it gets exhausting. It's a reason why I'm only focusing on Tesla right now and nothing else. At least with these four companies, I know they're going to do well in five, six years time. So I don't have to worry too much about it. But with Tesla, because I talk about it, and I love following it on a quarterly basis because it's fun tracking their numbers and all that kind of good stuff. I do that, but I, I do feel the stress sometimes when it comes with that. And I don't want to be invested in stress. I prefer to set it and forget it type of thing. That is my type of way of investing. And Tesla is like that, but because I do cover it again, it gets stressful sometimes. So again, the fifth one will be a classic S&P 500. Maybe throw in some NASDAQ in there as well. And maybe make a 20% NASDAQ, 30% S&P 500. Just let it ride, man. Just do contributions every month. And that's it. Enjoy the ride. Come back in 10 years time with a 10% return. That's it. What else do you really want? But that is if I want to diversify from Tesla stock. And that's not going to happen at least at least until 2031 because I'm holding the stock until 2030. These four individual stocks that I have just mentioned, I have done research on them and I am very confident on their future. So I wouldn't be worried too much about but for Tesla, because Tesla is a different breed and it's a different company and there's a lot of bears and bulls and if you just even look at the stock price, it's just, it's up and down. It's like uh, those inflatable guys you see at the car dealerships. That's how the stock is crazy. But I'm all in into Tesla stock because of the future of FSD and the AI stuff that they are doing. Of course, energy there as well. If Tesla was only just an EV company, I would not be going all in it. Simple as that. But because they're AI and they're trying to solve full stuff driving, that is worth trillions upon trillions. And I do see Tesla being worth upwards of 5 trillion, maybe even 10 trillion by 2030 or in the early 2030s. If you guys want to see the full breakdown, check the video here. I did revise my 2030 expectation. I mean, I, I've always revised it because you're never right with your predictions and things change every now and then. But check the 2030 stock price with FST and without, and it's absolutely a sheesh moment. Guys, get your, I bought the dip t-shirt. If you guys bought Tesla stock on the dip, you guys need this shirt. Subscribe for more, and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.